Well, hi everyone. I'm coming to you from the Ploughman's Cottage, which is in Loch Fyne, the west coast of Scotland. And it's just a beautiful situation. Um, it's been raining, but actually it doesn't matter. If I stop, I'm just wondering, you might have heard the raindrops on the roof. Absolutely stunning. But I thought I would uh, come to you as I promised. I thought I'd bring you some cheer for Christmas 2021. Who would have thought that we'd still be confused, even anxious? So I decided you needed to see some tinsel and my plum pudding Christmas jumper to make you smile and laugh. Remember, they cost you nothing. However, I also bring you some serious trip tips, not trips, tips to prevent stress, or should I say more stress and even depression and feelings of being overwhelmed. This year is still taking its toll on everyone's emotions. So to prevent and stop feelings of being overwhelmed and anxious, you need to hold on to these emotions. Hold on to your emotions and watch your moods. Of course, patience, patience is key. When intense feelings rise up, you need to have something to calm you down and help you through difficult moods. Not just for yourself, but for everyone around you. That's why I actually designed my ABC tips, because they are easy to use, but they kind of calm you down immediately. But here are some tips to help reduce and even prevent stress. Number one is to acknowledge your feelings. If you can't be with loved ones, then it's okay to feel sad. Let yourself cry. It's good to cry. It's good to let your emotions out. And don't force yourself to be happy. Christmas time is a difficult time for many people, particularly those who have lost loved ones, those who are alone and feeling lonely. Remember, there's a difference between being alone and being lonely. Some people find comfort in meeting with church friends, with groups. I've got old friends in their 80s and 90s. They enjoy meeting up with their uh, church groups, but they still stay, stay safe. So you need to do that as well. If you can't meet up in person, of course, but you have access to social media, the internet, then try to find some time to have a virtual meeting. I know it's not the same, but at least you're seeing and talking to others and even give them a virtual hug. If you've been listening to my videos, I did regular daily videos last year, every day, and just I kept reminding people to give virtual hugs and even to hug themselves. Now, it was, I know it was a wee bit creepy at the time, but the power, not the tower, the power of touch is immense even when hugging yourself. Feel the warmth of your hands and arms around you. Really, you'll be surprised. Another tip, don't expect everything to be perfect. You might not be able to keep your usual traditions, but as I often say, start a new tradition. Hopefully you did this last year and you might have even another one this year. Be understanding of others. It's an emotional time, a time when we remember lost loved ones. And there's many of us do that. You know, I found, I have been finding it very emotional having lost my son. And thanks, there's Irene coming on to, I'll give you a wee wave. Thank you. Um, so be understanding of others. Let your tears flow if you need or you want. It doesn't, it's okay. And if you don't want to be overwhelmed, use my ABC. It really, these ex exercises calm you down, but also energize you. And it's okay to say sorry. I find this is a good way of keeping the peace. So I recommend, even when something's not your fault, just say sorry. It opens doors to an open communication an open conversation, and it does you good. Another tip, set aside differences. Just accept family and close friends as they are. They're probably feeling just like you feel. We're all under stress at holiday times, and even more so this year, just like last year. So don't rise to arguments. Be understanding if others get upset. 
Of course, I can't say, mustn't omit finances. What about finances? It's been a difficult time for many and still is difficult. So I must give a tip about budgeting. Stick to a budget. Many people have lost their jobs or they're on restricted income. So be cautious. Don't try to buy happiness. It, it's just, it, it's... The thought of the presence that count, that's what counts. Even explaining to your children, they often understand more than you think. Children have been exposed to difficult times this year, uh, last year and this year. Some people have been making homemade gifts. Some have started family gift exchanges, setting maybe a new tradition. But set a limit, set a limit limit on the cost. I know that uh, they used to have office, these um, sharing of gifts. Well, just set the limit. I mean, it, it doesn't need to be much. You know, it could be five pounds, it could be less. Remember, it's the thought that counts. So set a, another, another a, a point to remember is, now this might be a bit late for this year, but it's never really too late, is to plan. Hi, Alan. Alan's come on to. I'll give you a wee wave. <clears throat> so, I know it's a bit late. Well, it's never too late, is it? But plan. Just remember to plan ahead. This keeps stress to a minimum. And of course, rope in other people. Rope in other people to help with the Christmas dinner or to help over the holidays. And remember, be kind to yourself. This gives you a... It just... You know, it gives you a wee boost. Uh, even if it's a snack, just make healthy snacks if you can. Mind you, I like chocolate, so don't overdo it. But just be kind to yourself. Eat as healthily as possible, but have that little treat to yourself. And remember to take time out for you. Even if it's two or three minutes and just do my deep breathing, which I've been calling recently since I saw it on YouTube, is the belly breathing that from the lower diaphragm. Another tip, take a walk in nature. This gives you a different perspective on everything, even if it's raining. I mean, it's raining outside just now, but I've been out today. If you don't want to be out in the rain, of course, remember, and I used to talk about this a lot uh, in the first lockdown, <clears throat> is remember the little room in the house. If you're living with others and everybody's getting on your nerves and it's all becoming too much, go to the little room in the house and sit and take time for yourself and just do my A, B, C. You can remind yourself of the benefits of the little room, of course, by listening, go back to the videos. They're all on my YouTube channel. Last but not least... Learn to say no. Now, saying yes when you should say no just leaves you overwhelmed and even resentful. Those close to you will or should understand that you can't get involved in everything. And hi, Barbara. Say we wave to Barbara. Thank you. Um, it's not po If it's not possible to say no, don't be resentful. Praise yourself for being able to do and to help someone else. Don't moan about it afterwards. That's just, if you if you don't want to do something, don't do it. So if you didn't really want to do something and you are now overwhelmed, then you, you have to let that go and remember, try to remember to say no. And don't think you need to give an excuse. This is difficult. I know I used to be the person that never said no. And when I said no, I always was trying to apologise and think of an excuse. Well, you don't need to. Just no is no. Remember, of course, if you're really overwhelmed, persistently sad, stressed, anxious, can't sleep, irritable, and feel everything is getting on top of you, I do recommend you probably seek professional help. But I know that's not easy to come by, so remember my ABC. There's simple but proven psychologically effective tips and techniques to make you feel good about yourself. So for today, I want to remind you of my ABC and hope that many of you are doing them and practicing them and that they are your good habit now. So what would the affirmation for today? Oh, there's lots of them. It could be, I am calm. I am grateful. I am thankful. And you can add anything. I'm thankful for my family, for uh, for anything, anything you like. Make up your own. Remember the three Ps. That's Personal, positive, and past or present tense. Never future. 
you know, if the if the athletes are going to the Olympics, they don't say, "Oh, I'm hoping to win." They actually say, "I have won." They visualize themselves holding the medal. So say it in the present tense. I am calm. I am happy. I am grateful. Any of these things. And B, of course, remember the deep, effective breathing. It's got to be the deep one. It increases the oxygen into the bloodstream. It energizes you, but also calms you. It's got that kind of dual aspect to it. And that's, of course, when you breathe in through the nose, your tummy, your belly should go out. That's why it's called belly breathing. And you hold and then exhale through your mouth. And when you exhale, the belly, your tummy should go in. That's proper effective breathing. And try and do it to the count of three, maybe more. And it just relaxes you, but also energizes you. And of course, C, remember your creative imagination. Using your creative imagination, that's like the right side of the brain. It builds resilience. And when you are resilient, you can face anything that life throws at you, even during this festive period. I've got some exciting new products for the new year. Um, I'm, uh, the kind of I was hoping to maybe launch this before Christmas, but uh, it's going to now be, I think, in the new year. So if you want to find out what I'm up to, then I will do more videos, but join my community on Mind Circles. I've got the YouTube channel. I've got the podcast I'm doing. I've actually done a podcast, hope to publish it um, this week. There's only a couple of days left, right enough. But it's on cynicism, because if you're cynical, then you've got fears, you're afraid, and that holds you back. So you might want to sort of listen into that. So finally, my two trade tip um, remark and my two two trademark tips are smile and laugh they cost you nothing find a funny moment in every day and you feel better so be festive stay calm stay safe but virtual hugs to you all and thank you for listening and i'll come back again soon to chat with all of you thank you very much bye